Hello everybody, it's Apocrypha Geek Todd here, and oh my god, it's MW3! Hooray everybody, it's MW3, and uh, yeah, today's Wednesday. Yeah, I'm hoping I record this on Wednesday. Well, I mean, it's probably not, but uh, yeah, MW3, what do I think of it? I think it's awesome. The only things I can find wrong with it are, um, the menu, I think, could be a little more polished, and, uh, the campers. There's just a lot of campers in this game. But, yeah, besides that, it's a fantastic game. The only way mo the uh, majority of you will not like it is uh, if you guys go into the game thinking it's going to be just a new, more polished, updated version of MW2. It's anything but. It's its own game, and you should love it for that. You can literally put, like, a name like, I don't know, Ninja Smurf Muffins, Call of Duty Ninja Smurf Muffins on it, and uh, it, it would fly, because this... Besides the design, it, it barely resembles Modern Warfare 2. Kill streaks are revamped. There's no noob tubers. There's actually less quick scopers, uh, which is weird. But today I'm using the uh, support package with the um, little mini RCX helicopter that doesn't do anything but bring stuff to its points. The uh, advanced UAV, which is actually not as overpowered as most people think it is, and the juggernaut recon. Now, what do I think of the support package? I think it's a little bit overpowered, but um. Besides that, I think it's pretty well-rounded. I've used the Assault, too, but I'm using the Support this time. Now, I don't know if there's a difference between the uh, Support, Juggernaut, and the Assault. Maybe Assault has a gun besides the USP. But Support just has the USP and Riot Shield, but it can really hold down a flank. Uh, it's tough to get kills on if you're slow and people try to run away from the Juggernaut most of the time. Actually, no, not most of the time. Actually, it's only like one-fourth of the people that do that. Most of them try to, try to kill it. They don't, they don't usually win. You don't win a fight with a juggernaut one on one. -on -one. You just don't. Unless they have, like, a frick. But also, uh, survival mode will be coming soon. And I'll, s and I'll give you some tips and tricks for that. Um, sorry for the boring mining product. Uh, also, next video, uh, I finished the campaign already. I spent most of today finishing the campaign. And, uh... Yeah, before I say anything else, Ghost is not in the campaign. I don't know why Robert Bowling screwed us over like that, but Ghost is not in MW3. It's sad, but he's just not. I'm, I'm sorry. But, uh, sorry. Sorry, all you Ghost fans. I'm one of them, but he's just not in it. The only part you even, they even mentioned Ghost, is at the end where there's a picture of him, along with, uh, Sandstorm, uh, Soap, and, uh, Captain Price. But that took place in... That picture was, like, Operation Kingfish 2013. And that was... I want to say, like, years and years at before Modern Warfare 3 took place. So, uh, yeah. No ghost. Too bad. So sad. But I'm gonna spoil all the campaign for you next video. I'm sorry if this vid video is a little bit laggy. I don't know why it's, like, still laggy. Um, but it's getting a little bit better, I think, as you can tell. But yeah, uh, right here I'm using my little mini RCX helicopter that does nothing. But it, uh, it's, it's just fun to use, I think. Doo -doo -doo. Let's fly real quick. Um, yeah, you can just tag people with it, it doesn't do much. You get, you get a, uh, point. Actually, you know, this, this round it does absolutely nothing because there's only, like, three people and they all have, like, the, uh, cold-blooded, cold-blooded ghost thing on. So I can't even see them in this. So I, I think I exit this pretty quickly. And, uh, yeah. But, there's nothing I can really say uh, that's bad about this game. What's good is that all the guns are fairly balanced. But, uh, the difference is from Black Ops is they took out all the unnecessary crap from Black Ops. Like the a million different camos, even though people only use three different types of them. There are, like, they, there's only, like, ten camos, and there's only seven re resiles. <coughs> uh, they took away the flamethrower. Noob tubes are so much less damaged now. So, actually, I haven't been, I've only been killed by one noob tube. So, uh, all you noob tubers out there, you're kind of screwed because it takes like one, it takes two noob tubes to kill a person. But, um, oh my god, my camera's just break right now. Uh, uh, what was I gonna say? Blast shield helps against the noob tubes. Um, the bouncing betties, as most people thought they'd be a huge problem, they're really not. I've only been damaged by one bouncing betty. I think it's actually right here. Yeah, right there. I don't, that's the only time I get damaged. Ever. And I've played a good hundred rounds of this game. <laughs> not a hundred, but I've played quite a few. Oh, uh, jeez. So, yeah. I don't think bouncing betties are that big of a deal this game. Well, not yet. I don't think many people have unlocked it yet. 
But yeah, I will co be coming out with a tips and tricks video in a little while, telling you what classes will be good, or what kill streak chains, whatnot. But oh my god, it's this is just such a great game. I want to get back to playing it with Atomic Gamer. Survival mode will be coming soon if I haven't already said that. Um, yeah, there's not much to say, is there? Uh. I haven't played any of the special ops missions yet, but I finished campaign. The campaign kicks ass. The way they kill Makarov at the end, spoiler, is kind of epic. And, uh, oh, here's me getting that juggernaut. Yeah, boy. Um, it doesn't seem like anybody's using it. I don't think, also, the juggernaut's too much, not too overpowered either, so, uh, people that were fearing the juggernaut should be pretty happy about that. And there it is. Pretty much invincible. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make, be coming out with a video with what cool guns there are and whatnot, but I haven't actually got to use too many of the guns. I've probably just used the Scar L and what I, and whatever gun I'm using now, the gun I got the Juggernaut with. I can't even remember its name. I've been using that, and I've been using the Ump a little bit. Ump's such a good overpowered heavy mod a little bit, too. Quick scoping is back. I have a co I'm gonna make a quick scoping montage, because, um, I have two quick scoping rounds saved up, and they're not good enough to be... A commentary as much as a montage. So there, a montage will definitely work too. But wow, um, I got the hard edition of this game, as you may remember. I was actually gonna sh film a video of me unboxing it for you guys, but apparently my camera broke. I haven't used it in a couple years, and it broke. And oh my god, I freaking hate it when it happens. I'm sorry about this, everybody. But yeah. Um. Also, the Army Clan on Call of Duty Elite will be uh, coming, will be up by the 14th. We're not allowed, the people that are the founders of Call of Duty Elite, for some reason we are not allowed to use um, the card to get in until the 13th. So ours will be up by the 14th. Also, I want to say thanks to the people at uh, Infinity Ward because they gave this uh, little, uh, this avatar uh, outfit to me. This special U.S. Forces thing that only, uh, like, a hundred people have for being a YouTuber. So I want to say thanks to them. And you can see small YouTubers get some love, too. Which is kind of rare. Yeah. Um, but I only had that on for, like, 20 minutes before I got my hard edition of MW3 and put on the Juggernaut outfit. But I'll probably be switching between, uh, between the two because they're both really cool looking. They're both really, really cool. But, um, yeah, that's all I really have to talk about today. I'm just stalling for time. I wish this video would hurry up, but it's obviously not due to the crappy lag. Don't worry, I'm getting a new capture card by around Christmas, probably that time. When I have enough money to buy stuff. <laughs> okay. There's not much I can say in there. But, uh, yeah, what can I say about MW3 besides get it, it kicks ass, but don't go in thinking that it's just a nicer version of MW2. Because it's not, it's anything but. Well, that's all I have to talk about today, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you ha already haven't. If you don't, if you want to see more MW3 videos, please subscribe and like, add this to your playlist and whatnot. And I will see you later.